You know, not a, not a lot, actually. Certainly in South Africa, none. I mean, the typical South African university vice-chancellor, you know, is, is a technocrat, is a person obsessed with the second term, you know, is a person uh, who's into containment. I haven't seen inspirational leaders among my other 22 vice-chancellors, you know, politically correct to the core, you know, um, uh, um, keeping their heads down, making sure they're on the right side of politics. I haven't seen, and, and of course, as I said, seriously into their own um, correctness, you know. So I haven't seen, I haven't, and I hope this doesn't sound wrong, but I haven't been inspired by any of the people here in the local scene. In terms of higher education, my inspiration came from leaders in other sectors. It came from people who were leaders in the religious sphere. That's where I draw a lot of my inspiration from, like the obvious arch uh, uh, emeritus. Uh, uh, Tutu, you know, I, I find enormous inspiration from some people in, in, in business. I find huge inspiration from leaders in the NGO sector. The other day I went to the India Tello Philanthropy Awards in Cape Town. And I cannot tell you how I walked on air just observing leaders who nobody knows, by the way, outside of their local community. And they make a huge difference in this country as part of what I like to call the moral underground, you know. So, um, yeah, I, I seldom am enchanted by great, visible, well-known leaders. I, I find them very ordinary. But I do find enormous inspiration at all these other levels. I wrote about it once, by the way, in a piece that went viral, actually, on, on all the major social media called... I wrote a piece, which I didn't think was going to be so popular, for uh, Mango Airlines called Mango Juice, called um, My South Africa. Oh, yes, I read it. And it was just a story about ordinary South Africans who just, like, blow you away. You know? uh, and, and so those are the leaders that inspire me, not, not university leaders.